everybody. Hisashi, been a while. How is it going? It's time for another episode of Japan Story Times, and I am your host. Uh, what was my name again? Oh, oh okay. It's, it's it's Fireboy. Okay, it's me. What's up? How's it going? It's your boy. <laughs> uh, listen, guys. Uh, a series like I'm recording audio, right? Okay, cool. A series like this was always going to decrease in frequency as time went on but like you you know th things happen you know i don't think anyone could have predicted a massive worldwide backstreet boys reunion tour so you know but uh so yeah because of because of the because of the the backstreet boys tour everything is obviously uh not closed or not operating at regular frequency and uh you know Gotta gotta be safe. Gotta make sure we're doing that. But uh, you know, put a put a put a put a hamper onto my you know whole big Japan plans. But what time is it? Oh, it's four. They do like a they do like a a, a town wide announcements like for some reason. I don't I don't know why. I, I don't know what it says. L listen, I I could I could probably understand the words that they said if it wasn't coming out of like. A random speaker probably like a few kilometers away like I don't know man <laughs> so anyway uh, yeah you know but I I've, I've still I've still uh, found things to do stuff to talk about you know it's not been very uh, frequent but uh you know I, 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 got, I got some I got some stuff you know I got some I got some I got some I got some stuff I got I got a bunch of things lined around here you know so uh, We'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get we'll find we'll find some stuff to talk about we'll find some stuff to talk about you know like for example I just wanted to show off this look at these look at that look at these Evangelion potato chips isn't that pretty neat I love I love the aesthetic it's like really cool we got the side with Shinji and then we got the side with the nutritional information and you got the back I think it's advertising the new movie right yeah it says studio color on it so yes. Isn't that pretty effing neato? And fine, we will, we will, we will try, we will try the Evangelion chips. I think, I think I've had this kind of potato chip before. I think I recognize the branding. Japan potato 100%. This is 100% a Japan potato chip. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's just potato chips. It's just potato chips. You know, see, it's just it's just potato chips. Isn't that fantastic? I feel like I might be delusional. I feel like I got these before, and there was a sticker inside, right? Am I crazy? Is there no sticker inside the, inside of the chips? Because I still have that sticker. Hold on. Nope, I'm crazy. This is a potato chip. I'm sure it was a potato chip. Hold on, I have the sticker. It's right over there. Isn't that fantastic? Anyway, yes, it's a potato chip. I just want to show off the bag. That's all I wanted to <coughs> do, man. Also, I'll go along. Here's what we will try. Here's something that here's something that is interesting. Okay, we got uh, Prez, which is like, I think it's similar to Pocky. It has like the same font and stuff to Pocky, but it's like, um, I don't know. You know, you see what it is. It's little like uh, pretzel sticks, I suppose, and they come in a bunch of weird flavors. And this flavor I have here is crispy chicken flavor. So we'll try. I tried some before. There was like a, a good uh, tomato flavor. That was like a tomato red sticky thing. So we'll try one. We'll try one. These are really thin. You see how thin these are? It's like a hundred in this packet. I do like how they crunch. I'm trying to, I'm like eating a bunch because I don't know what flavor it is. It's, it tastes like chicken or human. 
one of those two flavors. But it definitely, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a breadstick with like Parmesan on it or like some sort of chicken seasoning on it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it definitely does have like some sort of spicy like fried chicken flavor to it. That's really weird. I don't know how they've harnessed the, the, the power of fried chicken into a pretzel breadstick thing. It has a really weird aftertaste to it. I don't, I don't. It's a little too powerful, you know? It's a little too powerful. That's all I'm going to say, man. Because it's weird. Why is it, why does it taste like chicken? I mentioned how, how cool I like this water bottle. It's so, it's pretty sick. I'm very easily amused by these things. Is that all, is that all the preamble I wanted to show off? Okay, cool. I try to have a new camera angle every time and, uh, uh, it becomes very difficult to try to show off, like, or to try to, like, have a table to put things. I should really just have a dedicated table, but the only table I have is currently resting the, uh, camera I have, so whatever. <laughs> what else did I want to say? Do I want to say anything else? I feel like in the middle of saying what I was saying before, I thought of something else I wanted to say, but then I found, oh yeah, that thing. Uh, that thing is a, oop, <laughs> Okay, yeah, that thing is a uh, pin sheet, <laughs> is what we will call it. It is a collection for my pins. I was going to show them off, but, like, I think y'all know most of them. Like, most of the pins that are on there I've shown off in this series, so, uh... Uh, yeah, there's some, like, random, like, anime convention pins. I might, I might, I might show it off. Any, every, anything that's relevant to this series specifically, I've already shown off. Let me just make sure I'm still uh, recording the audio. Okay, fantastic. I should. I don't like eating <laughs> when I'm recording videos. I think it's all up in my thing. So uh, you know how it goes, man. So anyway, is that all I want to show? I might. I will show. I might show that off in a separate video. But uh, for the moment, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to acknowledge the black square in the background. Yeah, it's been May. the the most the uh, the oldest notes that I have for this series go back to May, and uh, I think that is about when I did that. I think uh, we were uh, staying inside because of the Backstreet Boys reunion tour, and then since then, uh, since then the schools have opened up with everyone you know staying away from each other, putting on masks, uh, and it's it's been it's been not bad, you know. It's been uh, it's been better than uh, some other countries have handled the <laughs> Backstreet Boys tour, but you know, it's not bad. You know, they're like, and mostly everyone's pretty good about uh, following all the rules, except for the uh, except for the, like the the little little kids who uh, like to throw their masks at each other. But you know, that that'll happen. Like if you give a child a, a thing that can be thrown, it will eventually be thrown. That is that is the rule. That is, and you just have to accept that, okay? But other than that, it's all been fine. And it's been like, I wouldn't say it's been go gone back to, to how it was before, but it is definitely like still still doing doing my job of teaching and whatnot, you know? It's just, uh, yeah, no, I think, yeah, it's about, it's about, it's about, it's continued as normal, just about. I'm just trying to think. I think it's just like, it's just the, uh, everything outside like no nobody wants to like meet up to do anything or like do big events but i can still do events on my own right nothing nothing bad about uh i have a car now i, I forgot i did talk about the car last time so a car is very convenient that i got that car because uh uh my only means of transportation before were uh crowded trains or uh walking which is not which uh seeing as we're in northern japan everything is very, very sprawled out <laughs> yeah and also uh yeah cars are also very convenient to have because cars are very good uh safety shield bubble <laughs> as long as you don't leave the car you don't have to worry about uh you don't have to worry about the reunion tour you're fine car car is very soundproof enough okay but I mentioned last time. I don't know if I how much detail I went into this last time, but I did mention last time that I still have food in my mouth. I don't have a. I didn't have a license last time. 
because okay here here's how here's how the system works okay um when i before i left like a year and a half ago like back in like july july 2019 if you can remember those times i went to like a random like shady company in a in a in a strip mall and uh, i was like hey i want an international driver's permit and they're like cool and like they gave me this permit and that permit allowed me to drive in japan for a year and then after a year it expired okay and that's wait is this falling down is this just me or is this falling down okay keep an eye on that tell me if it falls down <clears throat> not that you can uh tell me but you know just just let me know hold on now it's in the way of its background props okay cool <laughs> So yeah, and that it's usually for like short trips or like if you're visiting somewhere. Like if you wanna if you wanna visit Japan and rent a car and drive up north, then that's that's the way to go. But uh, and I and when I did that, I was like, okay, this will this will. I, I I didn't have a plan when they did that. I'm like, this this will might be useful because when I first got here, I didn't know if I would need a car. But then after uh, they were like, okay, so your school the school places that you have to go to every day are like uh far away and up a hill and the only and the only thing you got is this uh broken old 200 year old bike so i'm like uh yeah and i'm like i, I can do this because i'm very i'm very stingy with money i think i don't know again i don't remember how long how much detail i went into this but you know just as just as a recap you know and i'm very stingy with money so i was like i i can i can do the bike it's fine and then when it got cold i'm like i can't do cold I can't do coal. Listen, I am a I am a desert. I was I'm a I'm a desert child. I cannot I cannot survive in the in the cold without protection. <laughs> so in February I got a car and then. Right? Was it February? I think it was like February first. I think it was that. I think it was I think it was February first. I got a car. Okay, and then from then I started. I was like, okay, well this international driver's permit is good with for the car by the way buying buying the car without a driver's license was very awkward the whole car the whole car experience was very long very very awkward very go watch the last episode whatever i have a car and an expiring driver's permit so i'm like okay i have to go get a license and here is the process to get a license because it's japan there is a lot of paperwork and going to places and uh paying minute amounts of money to have someone officially sign a form and do all that and listen a, a, a foreigners complain about that aspect a lot about japan but listen in i kind of i, I kind of like it i don't know i kind of like it because like it's very long very complicated very arduous but like if you do it and you don't f word it up it just it works 100 percent of the time it works if like you, they will they will tell you here are all the forums and how to get all the forums and you make a big list of all the forums you need and all the people you need to talk to and all the signatures that you need and all the people you got to give two dollars to or two pounds or two uh 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 yen 200 whatever i think there was a forum that i had to pay like 500 yen for which is like six bucks or that's the only currency I know. I'm sorry, uh, European friends and peso friends and, uh, okay. Anyway, but yeah, if you just do, you just do all the forums, it's a big pain in the butt, but it just works. I cannot tell you how many times in America where I'm like wanted to go do something and there I go to the place and I'm like, hey, can I can I get can I sign like fill out this form and do this thing? And they're like, uh, well, you know, the person who deals with the forums is kind of out for lunch and we don't know when they'll be back. And also they they also I could try to do it and then they mess up and then they like do all this like go around about it like requires a lot of uh, social skills, which I don't have <laughs> in order to try to organize all of this and get all the people to do all the things that they need to do but like in japan it just you go to the place the person's there you might need to call ahead and make a reservation but like it's the person will be there and it's there's a system and you just follow the system input output i like that <laughs> consistent input consistent output very nice well oiled machine <clears throat>
Okay, I just wanted to make sure that my audio was still recording. So yeah, you know, it has its ups and downs. It's very there's a lot of a lot of pointless paperwork that you have to go through, but um, yeah, if you do it, then you're good. the The only thing that I had that I ran into was um the okay so i think it was in uh i think it was in march it might have been earlier than march but i'm like okay so to get a, a an actual japanese driver license i had two options i could start from scratch and just get a, a japanese driver's license the way that everybody else does which would involve uh a lot it's a, it's a it's a long arduous process or I could convert, use my old, my American license and kind of like use that as like a, like a stepping stone to get a Japanese driver's license. I think they call it like converting, but like, I, I don't know. That implies that I would lose my old license, but I have, I still have my old American license. <laughs> so I don't know, man. But to do that, I need to fill out all the paperwork and then go down to the uh, driving center and pass an, an what did I need to pass? I need to pass a written test and an actual practical driving test, you know? So, and I think it, if you want to do it from scratch, I think, I don't know. There's like people who like go to, go to schools for like months in Japan that Japan is a very uh, strict uh, driver's license test, but if you have a license from another country, you fill out all the forms, you go take the tests, and then you got it. So I was like, okay, I have to call ahead. And this was back in March. And I'm like, hey, I want, I need a drive to schedule an appointment for a driver's license test. And they're like, okay, the earliest we have is like three months from now in June. When was it? I do, I do have the exact date. Do, 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 do. June 18th. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And the only day they had available was like a weekday. So I had to, so I'm like, okay. And then I had to screw around with that to get it, to take an entire work day off, which uh, was not too complicated. <laughs> I uh, Theoretically, I am a assistant teacher. So my presence shouldn't be missed too much, but uh. You know, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I assist a lot, if you know what, I, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, what was I going on about? Oh, yeah, so I had to wait, like, three months, and then during which I'm like, okay, well, I might as well study up for the test, and, uh, it was, it, if, it didn't seem it that complicated, and it's not that complicated, okay, so, theoretically, not too hard, okay? So, do I want to mention anything that happened between then? My birthday was on June 2nd. It was pretty cool. Everything was still closed, but, uh, I had, uh, what did I get? I've had, I think I got Japanese McDonald's. Japanese McDonald's, side note, good. <laughs> I think I've talked about this, that, in the series before as well, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. J Japanese fast food is, uh, pretty, pretty top tier compared to, uh, American fast food. They actually use, um, things called, uh, ingredients instead of, like, weird flavored sludge. So, you know, you get, you get, a, you get some imp quality improvements from that. <laughs> anyway, what was I going on about? Oh yeah, the, so the driving test comes June 13th, I think it was. The date doesn't matter. It was June 18th. I got my threes and eights mixed up. <laughs> that shot. Embarrassing. Whoops. Um, <laughs> aren't you an English teacher? You can't even do numbers. Gah. Anyway. <laughs> So I go, I go there, I take, it's like a, it was like a Wednesday, um, and, uh, it might have been a Thursday. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it was a Wednesday or Thursday. It was a day of the week that was not a weekend, so I had to take off work. And, uh, so I had to get up, I got up early, I drove down all the way in to, uh, a driver's license center. And I went in there and I'm like, hey, I'm here. Here's all of my, here's my entire stack of paperwork, you know. There was a, there was a lot of complicated paperwork. I think the most, uh, POA one, pain, P-I-A? Pain in the butt. Pain in the A word. <laughs> the most pain in the A word one, I think, was, uh, 
I had to go down to City Hall and pay like five five hundred yen, like six bucks, in order to get a piece of paper proving that I lived where I say I lived. Even though I also had to bring my like identification card or whatever, like my ID card that also had that also proved where I lived, but that wasn't enough, so I like I don't know, man. There was that and uh photos. <laughs> For, I don't know why the photo, though, like, because after, after th this was all said and done, they had to take my photo again to put it on the driver's license. Spoiler alert, I got the driver's license, okay, after, after a lot of, of heartache, <laughs> but part of the heartache. So I don't know why they wanted that other um, photo, but they wanted the other photo, and I gave it to them. <laughs> Uh, there was also a lot of other, like, random forms from random places that I had to print out and fill out. I had to... Oh, yeah, that was another one. I had to get an official translation for my current driver's license. So I had to go to, like, some sort of random building and be like, hey, can you translate this? And they're like, sure, we'll mail it to you in, like, a couple of weeks. So it's actually kind of convenient because I think that took, like, a couple of weeks to get mailed to me. So I guess it was kind of convenient that I had to wait so long to get to actually take the test. <laughs> But all of that, I gathered up all those documents. If you really care about the full detail, I'm sure there's some things online where you can figure out all the things you need. But this is this is not a guide on how to get a thing. This is just me uh, t t telling you my woes, so to speak. But yeah, again, but again, I got all the I got I got all the paperwork. I handed them the paperwork, and it worked. Okay, so no complaints. So I went there. I gave them my paperwork, and they're like, okay, now you fill out more paperwork. And it was all in Japanese. No no English translation. So I'm like, oh, flip. Like, my Japanese is, like, okay. But, like, uh, with reading, um, I know about, like, uh, 500 kanji, and that's okay. But the total number of kanji that the average, like, person in Japan knows is, like, 2,000. So I got, like... 25% I was able to read 25% of the documents they gave me but luckily I had a um, Google Sensei to help me out <laughs> so uh, just translate the documents on the fly with my phone in the middle of the thing it was uh, it was pretty glorious <laughs> but um, basically what the document asked me is like my driving experience in uh, America they're like oh how many how many years have you driven how many what, how, what kind of roads have you driven on what what kind of car did you drive? What, 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 what was the size of the engine of the car that you drove? And I'm like, okay. And uh, so even if uh, Google translation was a little sketchy, uh, it didn't matter anyway. <laughs> you know, like how are they, how are they gonna double check if I lied on this? Which the the only way that they did double check is after I gave them the file. There were like a couple other like foreigners. I think there was like three. I don't remember, including me or not including me. I don't remember, dude. It was all blur. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I gave him, I gave him, I filled out the form. I gave him the form, did more waiting, and then he like took me, like the guy, a guy came out, and he's like, "Okay, you, it's your turn." And he took me into a room, and he sat. It was like a a white room. He stood and with a chair in the middle. Speaking of Evangelion, it was like it was definitely like that room, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It was just a, a empty room with a chair in the middle, and he's like, "Okay, sit down in that chair." And I'm like, "Oh no, what's going on?" And he basically uh, asked me the same questions again. What was the size of the car that you drove? How many how many tires have you driven over? If a uh, driven, this is the same questions again. And then he gave me an eye test, and then he gave me uh, a, a a quiz. My first of two tests was a was a was a true or false quiz and this was actually in uh english which is uh good because i th he did not allow me no no phones no phones on the test everybody you know <laughs> but the test was actually in english it was in broken english but it was in english and it was basically like like look at this picture and it was like a picture of someone at a stop sign i'm like in this scenario is it possible to turn left or like it is possible to turn left here, true or false? And I was like, okay, whatever. And uh, I th most of them were pretty straightforward. Most of them were pretty like, do you have to st you have to stop at a stoplight, right? And I'm like, true. <laughs> there has to be something more to this. The only one I uh, was not sure of was like there was like a question about like an earthquake for some reason. 
well, I guess it's not, I guess earthquakes happen in Japan, but uh, I had no I had no idea I had no idea about that one. It was like something like if an earthquake happens, you should pull over, like take the take the keys out of the car, roll up the windows, and like sing a song or something until the earthquake stops. And I'm like, uh, this sounds too specific to be a false question. So true. <laughs> And I would have liked to know the answer to that question, but they didn't tell me my score. I, I just get handed him the test, and then um, a few minutes later, he's like, okay, you passed. And I'm like, what was my score? What were the answers? Like, you know, no, nobody didn't tell me things? things? No. No, 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 no. Anyway, <laughs> so I do some more waiting, and then finally, uh, after watching several other people, the, all the other people do it, um, it was finally time for my driving test. They did before, during, they had like a lunch break where they're like, okay, here's a map of the course and here's a, here's a, a map of the course and outlined where you needed to drive in on the course. So they're like, okay, even if you don't know Japanese, you can still, if you just follow this course, you'll be, you'll do good. And it was, it was pretty standard. It was just like, it was like a, a driving test court and it's just like okay it had some stop signs it had some stop lights it had a uh, some artificial blind corners it had a uh, you know the turn that goes like sh -sh -sh -sh, like that <laughs> i'm not too sure what that was it was a it was a lot of uh the only thing that differed from like actually i don't know and when i did my driving test in america like it was like on a real road it was just like they you go out onto a road and you just drive and the only the only thing that was like in a course was the parallel parking, <laughs> but this one did not have parallel parking, but it did have uh, a lot of like tiny, like little roads because Japan is very uh, infamous for driving with its very tiny, tiny roads. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was the only really hard part. But after I did it, uh, I apparently failed. <laughs> I failed that test two uh apparently like i don't know they didn't tell me my exact score they just said you did not get enough score to pass and i'm like oh no what did i do wrong and they said you went too slow and i'm like too slow too slow i went too slow i was too safe i was just too safe that was not going very slow okay because i think I don't remember. I remember I heard, I heard somebody else failed because they went too fast, but uh, I went too slow. So I'm like, okay. And they're like, well, come back. So I had to reserve another date to come back. And it was uh, another uh, weekday that I had to come back. What, what day was it? But yeah, the only thing I'm not too upset about failing the test because uh, I don't know. It seemed... Uh, there's a lot of listen. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, rumors. There's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of stuff about how like oh they want to fail you once or twice just to just to humble you so you, you can be a better driver and a lot of conspiracy theories like that. But I'm like I don't know maybe maybe you maybe I was just too slow or, or maybe I was just too slow. Who knows? Maybe they just wanted to know that I could not crash the car going high speeds. Which is uh, a bit weird. But the only thing I was upset about is that uh, the test itself, that I had to pay like 30 bucks or something to take the test again. <laughs> that was the only thing I was upset about. Because <laughs> I'm like, I can, I can pay, fail the test and come back and take it again and take another work day off. But you, may, you want more money? Always with the money, guys. Always with the money. <laughs> Oh yeah, and another thing was the the test was another month later. So my driver's permit expired was going to expire in on August 1st and it was June like the middle of June and the next test they had was like a month from now in the middle of July. So I'm like, "Oh no, if I fail this one, then uh I'm going to be kind of screwed." <laughs> But I came back July. Nobody did cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Ju July sixteenth. So I came back and uh, I I think I came back. I didn't have to do all the forms and hand out all the forms because I already had that stuff. They just wanted me to come in and uh, take the test again, and I did. And so I got in. I took the test. I did like the exact same thing I did last time, except it went a little faster. And then after the test, he was like, "Ooh, you went, you you sped around those corners, didn't you, buddy?" And I'm like, "Oh no, <laughs> now I was too fast." And he's like, "Oh yeah, well you were kind of fast around the corners, but uh, 
yeah, you just pass, whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> that's what we learned here today. You just gotta, that's why, that's why Tokyo Drift got made. That's why, you, that's why everyone be drifting is because that's, that's what, that's what you have to do. That's how you, that's how you win. That's how you pass the driving test. You just have to drift around corners. Uh, cause I think the first time they said I failed for just going too slow in general. And the second time he was like, good, except you were going too fast around the corners. <laughs> so, uh, but apparently like going too fast around the corners was not enough to fail, but going too slow was. So this is, a, I'm just saying, that's what I learned. That's what I, that's what we did here today, man. That's what we did. Anyway. <laughs> But the worst part is, like, the guy the guy who gave me the driving test said, okay, you went too fast around the corners. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to fail. And he's like, go inside and wait. And I'm like, uh, okay. And I was like, did I pass or not? Because he didn't tell me. He didn't tell me. He just said you went too fast around the corners. But he didn't outright say that I failed, like, last time. So I'm like, uh, did I pass? But he didn't say pass. So I had to wait for, like, it was like two hours of just sitting there anxiously, like, oh, gosh, dang, did I do it or not? But uh, eventually, a guy came out and was like, okay, congratulations, you passed, fell out the swarm. And then I took a picture, and then I drove back with my brand new license. I, would sh I, w I was debating showing off the license, but uh, license has a lot of personal information on it, so, you know, let's not. But, uh, you know, it is cool. Even, uh, it will be a, uh, it, is, it, is, it is a cool thing, you know, it's definitely, uh, as much of a pain in the butt it was, as it was, and probably between all the forums and taking the test twice, I probably spent more than, like, I spent way more money than I would like to, but, you know, I do like it as a, uh, a, uh, a thing from Japan that not many uh, people who, people who visit Japan wouldn't have, you know, like, if you, if you're just visiting Japan, there's no reason that you would have this, you'd only have it from living in Japan, so it is a, it is a cool item to have for that reason. Anyway, that is that is the uh, that is the driving arc of the story. <laughs> uh, so then after that uh, was just uh, avoiding the tour and working and occasionally taking uh, like weekend trips. So uh, that's basically what I've been doing is because I did that and I'm like, should I make a Japan story time? And I'm like, uh, this is like only like a half hour. So we need to we need to pad it out a little bit. So I just waited, but nothing interesting happened. But we did, we did, we did a couple of, we did a couple of interesting things. You know how it goes. You know how it goes, man. There's, so, there's some stuff here. So uh, I drove up uh, a mountain. I drove because, like, listen, driving in Japan is kind of difficult because there are a lot of narrow roads and uh, people going very fast down the middle of these narrow roads. So like, and these roads are two lane. Like, there's, I see people do that all the time. So like, you know. When you're passing someone on a very narrow road, there's sometimes like this much space in between the two cars, and it's very nerve-wracking. But it is very pretty, like uh, the pretty, pretty mountain I drove up. So that's pretty cool. But that wasn't too notable. I just drove up a pretty mountain. I might put in some pictures and videos. And that was in August, yeah. And then in the middle of August, I went to Iwaki. Ooh, isn't that cool? Iwaki. <laughs> Iwaki is a like. Um, a town that's, that's in the south of Fukushima and is on the, the ocean. So that's, uh, I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, and I always wanted to go there because it seemed, uh, it had a, like a cool aquarium and a lot of pretty uh, lighthouses. And that's basically what I did. So I went down, I went to the aquarium. I got some stuff at the aquarium. The aquarium was pretty cool. Listen, I know, I know, I remember a lot of uh, family members gave me crap because like, why would you go all the way to Japan just to check out an aquarium? It was a cool aquarium, okay, man? It's, like, the most, like, well-known popular aquarium in the Tohoku region, which is, uh, Tohoku region is, like, the Tohoku region is, like, the area, like, the north of Japan, like, Fukushima, uh, F Fukushima to Amori, like, not everything, everything in north of Japan, not including Hokkaido. Hokkaido is its own thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know. So it's like it's a very uh, big famous uh, aquarium. And I I like aquarium. I wanted to check it out. And I'm quite glad I did. It was very very big. It had like a big like outside. It had like a big outside area, and uh, 
What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the stuff with the uh, reunion tour. They had uh, things set in place for the, the reunion tour. Everyone wearing masks, everyone staying uh, this big apart. <laughs> <laughs> and they had, like, hand sanitizer stuff, and there was uh, not many not many people there. Because I think I might have gone on, like, a, on a weekday. I don't remember, dude. I think I... I think there was like some time that I had off of work. I don't remember, but uh, it was very cool. I keep looking behind me because there was stuff. Oy. There's some uh, fun souvenirs I got from the aquarium. But yeah, the aquarium was is big. It was uh, had a, like a cool outside area, and the inside area was all had many different levels. And there was like a like a weird beach area. It was uh, it was cool. It was a very interesting layout to a. Uh, Aquarium. That my mouse was on the off button. I was very worried about that one. <laughs> anyway, here's some souvenirs from the aquarium. The regular aquarium souvenirs. You got, of course, you you know me. I got I gotta have my otters. This little otter keychain. That is what that is one of my next project, by the way, because I I'm collecting keychains as well. So uh, I want to like a some sort of way to display those. I was thinking like getting like a like a sash and hanging it like across like. Uh, like a wall or something. I don't know. We're working on that one. What else? I have a bunch of other randomly lofty stuff. Oh yeah, I had to take this off the pin thing because this is the one pin I didn't show. Look at that. This is the name of the aquarium. Aquamarine Fukushima. That's fantastic. They had little darling eels. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> Do you want to say anything else? I think I was going to say, uh, yeah, even though with the, the Backstreet uh, Boys tour, like, if you can do something safely, you know, with uh, all of the proper precautions set in place, then uh, you should because, uh, you know, you don't want to get too much depression. Like, listen, it's, 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 it's very, we're all, we all have depression currently, okay? It's not, it's, it's unavoidable, but you can lessen it by trying to go out and do things and, uh, but yeah, and also a lot of uh, businesses are hurting. So you do what you can. As safely as you can, obviously. What else? I got a map. I don't know why I saved the map. Isn't that cool? See? Isn't that a cool place? It's like mostly outside. It's pretty sick, right? <laughs> And it has like a little uh, tower that you can go up and you can see uh, the ocean. Pretty sick. Pretty effing sick. Oh yeah, so this was also like an, an overnight trip. Not because Oaki is particularly far. Well, I guess it was. It was like a couple hours. But I just, but uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, to, to do some, some, some overnight stuff, you know? As again, being safe, and also all the places that I went to, I've been to for the past couple of months, have all like, it's it's all like very strict, like stay apart and uh, wear a mask and wash your hands, and also they have like these like uh, gun things, like the temperature guns. They take your temperature, and if you uh, have too high of a temperature, then they don't let you in. <laughs> Which I don't know. Is that, is that, I don't know if I've ever seen that happen. I have to assume that it's happened. <laughs> I don't know what their plan is if it happens. If <laughs> you know, but yeah, I remember the uh, most pretty much every place that I've been to. I think the only like big major place that I've been to with people was was the aquarium. <laughs> but yeah, my my plan is that they my my thinking is that. Uh, if they run into somebody, their plan is to just uh, tackle them and throw them off a cliff or something. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, you probably shouldn't tackle someone if they have a fever. That's probably not a good idea. This is just a ticket. I save. I I'm. I will throw all these things away eventually. Don't worry. Whenever I move, that's that's when that's when <laughs> that's when you uh, do cleaning and get rid of all the useless junk that you don't care about. Is that you wait a couple of you wait a couple of months or years and then uh, you're like, do I even remember wanting this? The interest will wane eventually, but until then, it gets stored forever. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I went, to, so I, for the hotel, I went to this random, like, little, like, I don't know. It was, like, a random place. It was, like, I, I don't 
even not even sure if it was a hotel. There was like it looked to see it looked to be just some random lady's house. <laughs> but uh I just looked up cheap hotels in the area and that was the cheapest hotel that came up and it was just some lady's house, but uh the lady was cool, you know. She was uh she was a uh, uh, Yeah, I think she was cool. <laughs> So you know you get you get you 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 get you get some sort of personal thing when uh you go to I think it was like a random like bread and breakfast I don't know what do you call that what do you call like a super cheap like r independently run like hotel I guess just a a, a flop house right <laughs> a flop house or a trap house <laughs> or a, maybe a hostel maybe a hostel I'm thinking of hostel is kind of close to a flop house I need to stop looking at these things. <laughs> See, when I'm not in video, you can't see me, like, looking off in random directions and doing random things with random parts of my body. <laughs> anyway, what was I going on about? Yeah, the lady's cool. And then the other day, and then the second day, I went out and I saw a bunch of lighthouses. And I and every single lighthouse I got a little ticket from <laughs> because they it costed, like, $2 to look inside the lighthouse. So here's this lighthouse. Isn't that pretty sick? I just like lighthouses, man. I like pretty Japan scenery. Like, listen, all these places that I drive to, I just drive to as an excuse to drive around Japan. Because Japan is so pretty, especially the Tohoku region. Because there's, like, it's all just rice fields and giant, huge mountains. And it's really effing cool looking to just drive through rice fields and mountains. It's pretty sick. Here's another tower. Here's another lighthouse. I don't know if this is a lighthouse. I think this is like a, a marine tower or something. But yeah. Iwaki Marine Tower is what it says. <laughs> Sunshine Iwaki. That's what it also says something in English too. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> and I also went to caves. Pretty sick. They have uh, caves in America too, but uh, the uh, Abukuma Caves was is another one. That's uh, another one. It's like you had to drive up in the mountains, and it was really cool. And there was like windy roads going upwards, and it's pretty sick. And you get to just explore a bunch of caves. This is uh, one of the famous things in Fukushima, supposedly. <laughs> so that's pretty sick. Look at that. They have different lights on them too. Rad. Rad as heck. Yeah. I'm trying to see if any more information can be gleaned off of that. Why does it say that this is from March? This thing says March on it. What? No, wait. Huh? It says tw March 31st, 2021. Why does it say March 31st, 2021? Well, it says Rayla 3, which is 2021. I guess it means it expires, but I bought a ticket, and this is the thing that they gave me. Like, okay, here's your ticket. Like, I bought it, the ticket there, and it was a one-day ticket. What? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> and then the next minor trip that I went on. Oh yeah, I saw uh, a movie. So the movie, movie. Uh, anime movies is another thing that uh i wanted to do more like i don't know because i've always like listen my my japanese is like okay but uh i was always always feeling more intimidated trying to watch like an actual movie <laughs> because uh i don't know i was like oh i have to wait till my japanese is better in order to to watch a, a movie but i'm like eh, it's fine you know with anime movies you're mostly, mostly in for the visuals anyway you know so like just just jump in man that's all that's what i have to say is like don't f my my thing that i wanted to get over is like don't feel like i have to be at a certain level before i can do something like just do it and i'll get there by doing it you know like how how my japanese gets to the level where i'm able to completely understand movies is just going to more movies <laughs> so that did it so i went to the violet evergarden movie this is right in what is this Oh, this is something else. This is not in its proper category. But yeah, anime movies. And they had special things. Like they, It came with this because Japan and anime. It came with... I think this is a folder. This is a very small to be a folder. I don't know why it's a folder. It's very, very, very fascinating. 
I don't know what what I would hold in this folder, but I will keep it around for posterity's sake. Maybe frame it. It is cool. Can you frame a folder? They have a lot of folders in Japan. I feel like I've gotten a folder before. The folder. <laughs> and it also came with. I have to actually forget what this is. Oh yeah, it's a book. I don't know why it came with a book. It is an untitled book, but it is indeed a book somehow related to the movie. It is a light, 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 light novel. Oh wait, hold on. It has a, it has a thing. It has, a, it has a title. Oscar's Small Angel, I think that says. Well, there you go. This I definitely can't read. No, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I can read 25% of it. <laughs> we'll get back to the kanji. We'll save this, and we'll get back to the kanji studying. I do actually have a lot of manga. Ma a lot of, uh, like, uh, aimed at young people manga have, like, little, uh... I heard my, uh, mail go off. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, young people manga like shoujo, shou... shoujo, shonen, shoujo and shonen manga. I forgot the more well-known one. Anyway, have little uh, readings on how to read the kanji, so that's cool. It's good. It's a good. It's good training wheels. But uh, something like this, nah. This has nothing. This is just you know the kanji or you don't. <laughs> But yeah, the theater was pretty cool too. Uh, the theater was uh, well organized too. Like they had a, you had to reserve your seat ahead of time, and only like every other seat was available. And, all, and like so, like between every other seat was like a a plastic sign or something. I forget what was in it that was stopping you from going sitting in that seat. But uh, yeah, they spaced everyone out. It was pretty good. Which is how uh, that's happening, by the way, because I, I see a lot of like American uh, news reports being very confused that uh these japanese anime movies are like getting pulling in such large numbers but like that's how that's how they do it they ventilate they have like huge this giant ventilation system going through the theater and they have uh every seat spaced apart so you know that's how it goes my nose is itchy <laughs> Oh yeah, that was another thing. Speaking of fu famous Fukushima areas, uh, I went to Ochijuku, which is like a old timey samurai town, which is in south south left Japan. What is south left? North east south west 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 south west. I don't. There's something wrong with my brain where I no matter how many times I try to remember, I cannot tell apart east and west. I just it just doesn't happen to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I think it's it's gotten worse ever since I got to Japan because they're like, oh yeah, Japan is in the is in the east, and I'm like, what east? The world globe is round. <laughs> and then I went to Japan, and I'm like, Japan east is all around me. <laughs> anyway, so it was a it was in South West Japan. <laughs> oh no, not Southwest Japan. Southwest uh, Fukushima. It's like an old timey like samurai village that was like that has been preserved as like a both mostly a tourist place but it is cool it is cool to walk around and explore and do things in do i have pictures of it i have, I have pictures of it per se but i did buy some cool looking i did i did i know i know i complain about it being a souvenir place but it is it did look really cool and it did have some cool souvenirs it had have some cool chopsticks because I've been using uh, wooden chopsticks this whole time, and now and I want to upgrade. I want to. I'm moving up in the world. I'm moving up in the world. We got these cool uh, black and red chopsticks. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. And I have these chopsticks too. That have been ah. Carefully wrapped. I was about to say it's been very carefully wrapped up in a very uh you know how you know how Japan does. But I just ripped it a little. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I like the orange one on this one. It's very, it's very fiery, as with my, as as my nature is. Very attuned to the fire element. Did you catch my drift? So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mostly did it for the the three hour drive through the mountains. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. 
and that was also like that was also another e- easy thing to do in the uh, Backstreet Boys tour times because I, that's just an, it's an outside village, you know. So there's a lot of space and air and freshness. So that's always good. It's always good, man. It's always good. What what is next? I know we're getting to the end of it. <laughs> oh yeah, so the the anime movie Violet Evergarden movie was on September twenty. September twentieth. Okay. You can see definitely see where like there's like large gaps. Cause the last one I did was in May, and then nothing else happened in May. The end of May, the schools opened back up, and nothing happened. And then nothing happened in June, other than the one uh, driving test. And then nothing happened in July, other than the driving test. And then in August was the Iwaki trip, and then in September was that. Oh yeah, there's also uh, in Fukushima City. There was like a random like little temple, and I got I finally got I've been I haven't gotten any. I've been meaning to update that. You know, remember from the uh, Christmas special uh, where I got the uh, purple. I don't have it. I think it's in the car. Where is it? Whatever. I got a temple book, which is basically a you a back in the olden times when you would go on like a spiritual quest so they would give you like this temple book and every single temple that you went to that you visited they would assign your temple book to say that you've been there and nowadays it's kind of like a tourist thing it's it's a tourist thing that most uh foreigners don't know about so if you want and mostly uh japanese people do it so if you want a cool uh hardcore deep level iceberg weeb thing to do in japan then highly recommend looking up a uh, Goshuin temple book. But I finally got more pages for it. <laughs> so I got uh, this one. This one's pretty this one's pretty sick. Normally it is just like a white background with like maybe a stamp and with the, this text that with the date that you got it. Yeah, there's the date. <laughs> if you don't if you don't speak moon rune then that's the, this is the date, that's the name of the temple and I don't it's the name of something else. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's a name, okay? That's I I can read it enough to know that it's a name. <laughs> but it's cool. It's got a little like autumn leaves on it, though. It's got uh, orange background. I will put that in my temple book soon. Do not worry. I could have just put it in my temple book before, but uh, I waited till now to put it in my temple book. Is this down? Why does this have a specified? This says up. Is this is this the upside? Oh yeah, because this is, this is where it folds back. Whatever doesn't matter <laughs> so I did that <laughs> and that wasn't too notable <laughs> that was just it was just in Fukushima City and it was just a place I haven't been to before but that was a uh, it was still it was a cool drive and then do do didn't, didn't they give me something else there's something else that they gave me oh yeah here's the temple here's a picture of the temple in case I'm too lazy with editing <laughs> This is what the temple looks like. And so they gave me a little flyer with it, with all the things that they offer. Isn't that pretty sick? My favorite thing that they offer is, uh, oh yeah, right here. Right here, you can see that they have a little like shrine or thing set up to put a car. And what they will do, apparently, from using my limited Japanese and Google, my com- hours combined, apparently what they do is you can pay like uh, 50 bucks and they will bless your car. And uh, I think that's pretty sick, because you never know when cars might have evil spirits in them. I say that as a joke, but uh, I do think I do think that's pretty cool, you know. I think it's pretty sick. I would totally do it if it wasn't like fifty dollars, <laughs> or how much was it? It's in like kanji. Go sen n. Go is five, and sen is thousand. So five thousand, yeah, fifty bucks. That's right. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. and I think the last thing before we end it off for today, it's been uh, it's been about an hour. We we stretched this out to an hour. We stretched this out to an hour. <laughs> Again, there's not a lot of like normally like during these things like I've been kind of like going over this like oh yeah I went to an anime movie we were we were uh, six feet apart because uh we're not wanting t- tickets to the tour. So I'm like, there's nothing more to say. I went to there and I watched a movie. And then I went there and I got a cool temple page. <laughs> I, w- I went to a cool town and I got this, you know, there's not there's not a whole lot of like revelations to be had. It's just cool, fun stories. 
My last cool fun story is I went, what was the name of it? This was like uh, just a couple of weeks ago. It was the last thing, most recent thing in October of current events. I went to Shiro Ishii Castle, which is like a, a samurai castle in, I don't know why I want this sitting upright, but whatever. It is a uh, restored samurai castle in, um, it's near Sendai, which is like north of Fukushima. <laughs> So that was pretty cool. Here was a here's a ticket and here's what it looked like again in case I'm lazy with putting in pictures. <laughs> I hope I put I will put in pictures. But uh I may be incredibly lazy in that because I mostly intend for people to listen to this as a podcast, but uh I do put make put visuals for people who want it like in the background or something. Who knows, man. Yushi Castle. It's pretty cool. It was like a it's like a cool little like samurai castle. And when I went in and they gave me an English guide, they were very, they were very surprised to see a, a foreigner because, uh, like, okay, I guess that, I guess, you know what, never mind. Their, their surprisement is well justified because, uh, there's, n because of the Backstreet Boys tour, there's nobody that wants to, there's nobody, nobody, nobody allowed in or out. Okay. I think we talked about this last time about how I'm trapped. <laughs> okay. Well, I theoretically could leave, but then I wouldn't be able to come back is the thing. So effectively trapped, <laughs> which uh, I think is a position for a lot of people. Actually, like anyone, anyone in in my similar situation is in this position. So yes, it is very uh, noteworthy when they get a tourist and like, hey, I went in and I'm like, hey, I want I want to pay to enter this temple because like you could go to the you could go to temple castle you uh, you could go to the castle and you could go inside and you can go up to the top. It's pretty sick. Yeah. From the top it's like on top of a hill too you can like see the whole town the only that's cool like this thing is like you could see the whole town like this thing is like in the middle of like a town i don't know if i have a, a thing to show that off but uh yeah i probably have some pictures but like it is in the middle of like a town <laughs> and i think that's uh that's one of my actually one of my favorite things about japan is like you see you have like this modern like city that's just like people like live in and every day and then you have this like cool giant historical like castle in the middle of town i'm like oh that's pretty cool like right across like the street from this castle was like a high school and i'm like oh that's cool <laughs> you know and i and i uh yeah i don't know like I, th I think that's cool i think just like while driving to work like i have to drive by a shrine like this big shrine and it's like oh cool a shrine you know it's just a, it's an interesting thing to do like you have like a 7-eleven right next to a cool shrine and it's the duality that I think is uh, pretty sick, <laughs> which is why I recommend if you if you ever visit Japan, whenever the Backstreet Boys tour is over, I would definitely recommend. Uh, like obviously Tokyo, you know everyone everyone every baby baby's first Japan trip, you, you got to go to Tokyo just because Tokyo is Tokyo and it's like this big giant modern city. But I also recommend like going to like the outskirts and like finding a cool rice field because it's like. Japan has both of that in very close proximity. Anyway, so back to my main story. Um, yeah, the guy was like, hey, uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen one of you in a while. You want a present? And I'm like, oh, sick. Sure, what is it? And he gave me a, a not a temple seal. <laughs> Is it is it looks like a, a temple uh, page, but it's specifically I was like, oh, it's like it's like a temple page. And he's like, yes, but this isn't a temple; it's a castle. And I'm like, uh, do I count that? So here, here's here's the vote, guys. Do we put this in the temple book, or do we do we ruin the purity of the temple book by putting this fake <laughs> castle page in it, or do we say do we don't care and just put the castle page in anyway? Okay, how much how much of a purity? of temple only do we want my temple book to be okay because i'm still i'm still in the air about it one side i'm like oh i it's this is this is not i'll keep this obviously i'll put it i'll find something to put do with it but i kind of want to keep my temple book pure and just for temples but on the other hand why not like it's it's close enough nobody can read japanese they'll know they won't they don't know the rules of the temple book it's close it's good it's fine <laughs> Yeah, just has a bunch of explanations just in black and white so that's pretty cool and then i did actually get a real temple page because right next to that castle there is an actual temple that i went to 
and they gave me a real temple page. So this is de this is definitely going in the book. This is my pretty face. You can even see through it, <laughs> but this is the fun of it. Like, I still can't. How can I? Wait, hold on. Yes, now I can read it. Now I can't because it's still backwards. It's backwards different. How is it backwards? Because this, this, this is right for you, but for and what I'm looking at right now is mirrored. So if I flip this around, it should be good, but it's still not good. I think it's. I don't know how mirrored and reflections work. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and last thing I got was anime keychain. Another one of my favorite things about Japan is anime. I like anime and manga. <laughs> but uh, I really like this is a like an anime mascot of the Tohoku region. Hold on, the thing I was talking about with uh. It also includes uh, Akita, which I'm partial to. Because if you don't know, I can't open this. Did I not open this? I swear I opened this when I got it to make sure it was real. I don't think I opened this. Ugh. If you don't know, uh, this is not the first time I've lived in Japan. Like two, This is the first time I've like lived on my own in Japan. But I, I studied abroad in Akita for a year. And Akita is uh, like a prefecture up and to the left of me. <laughs> So it's all part of the Tohoku region. So I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite, I've, I've, I've a special connection to the Tohoku region. So a anime mascot keychain of the Tohoku region, pretty uh, sick. Her name is uh, Tohoku Zunto. Tohoku is just the name of the region, and Zunto, I don't know what it means. It just make it, it makes it sound like a name. <laughs> Zunto. <laughs> so when I get the, uh, when I find a place to, and it has, I don't know why this is separated but it is indeed a keychain and not just a mini surfboard yeah it goes the chain goes through like like that yes oh it's five now they're playing and now they're playing a song now the now that it's five they're playing a song so it has been officially an hour so we 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 have filled our, our content requirement and we can now end the video i can't get this in but it is keychain zoom coach keychain that was a that was a sentence I'm sure. I'm also losing the ability to speak. So I think we're gonna we're gonna end it. You know, like thing. Listen, definitely things have not gone according to plan. Uh, for as far as uh being in Japan goes, and uh, yeah, I'm also thinking about like long term. Like, do I want to be in Japan long term? Because I do kind of miss all my friends and family back in the states, but uh. You know, we're, we're, regardless regardless of how long I'm going to be here or what exactly I can do, I'm still doing everything I can to try to make the most of it, you know? It might not be, like, meeting new people and going to, like, events or whatever because we're all going to die. But I can still, uh, you know, I can, I can still I'll do what I can. You know, I can still do what I can. I can still go to, uh, I can still drive around pretty stuff and get uh, pictures of temples. And I think that's pretty sick. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to end it. <laughs> I hope you have all, uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it. You know, again, I, especially in a series like this, which has no like structure, you know, that's why I like doing like, like, that's why I like doing like podcasts with like other people or like when I do do solo podcasts, having like a very rigid schedule, but like for something like this, especially like re how things have going recently, like it's very, it's, it's, it's particularly unstructured and I'm just kind of like talking about whatever, but you know, it's still fun. It's still fun. <laughs> so uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And who knows what the future may hold. Uh, don't expect another one uh, soon. <laughs> but uh, there, will there will definitely be another one. You know, as long as there is more Japan, there will always be more Japan story time. So, uh, you know, it's the se series, series, series is not quite over yet. You know, <laughs> it'll take more than a Backstreet Boys reunion tour to, uh, to stop me. So, uh, yeah. It is it is nighttime. I try, I don't mean to record these at sunset, but or as the sun is going down. But uh, I I kind of in retrospect I do kind of like it because I like the aesthetic of like you can see time passing as like natural lighting goes away. Because <laughs> I think there was like a, a light source somewhere back there that has long since gone. You know I noticed that in the last video where I was like editing and I was like clicking from the beginning to the end and I saw like the lighting change and I'm like oh that's kind of sick 
Anyway, accidental aesthetics. I'm actually ending. I'm also really bad at ending things, but uh, here we go. Goodbye, everybody. See you all next time.